We're standing near the Lasting Way Viaduct on top of the tunnel that's going to replace it. With a new 360 camera, we're taking you on a tour to show you the construction of this massive project, starting with Bertha, the tunnel boring machine that's building this tunnel. We're about 40 feet behind the cutter head, where you can see how the circular outer wall of the tunnel is built. What you're seeing right now is a rake segment, one of 10, being moved in place by the ring erector. Each segment weighs approximately 18 tons. This is the last ring segment, the keystone. It holds the ring together. Now, one of the final steps, the bolts going in place. Each bolt, about a foot and a half, connected to a nut in the other ring. Big job, done over and over again. In back of us, you'll see the two primary hyperbaric chambers. These are the chambers that the crews use to access the front of the cutter head to preserve, protect, and maintain Bertha as she goes along her 1.7 mile journey. What you're looking at is what few people ever get to see, the pilot house of Bertha. You can see the two seats. Those are the seats for the two main operators. But behind them is the mining engineer, mining quality control, and the mining superintendent each with a special focus. Remember, there's no windows in Bertha. This is all done by sensors. Think about that. A tunneling machine as tall as a five-story building, 200 feet below Seattle, that can hit a target nearly two miles away. Okay, let's go. These guys are the best in the world at what they do. We just walked more than 300 feet back. We're at the tail end of Bertha. What you're looking at is just a complex machine made up of many moving parts. But also what you're looking at is a completed board tunnel. Looking down the tunnel, you see rows and rows of cane-shaped anchors. They'll anchor the road foundations to the curved tunnel wall. Moving south, down the tunnel, you'll see the start of those road foundations. If you look around, you can see the iron workers tying rebar. They're fastening these rebar cages to those cane-shaped anchors. Now the iron workers are working on the walls. In front of us and in back of us, you'll see these big red things. After the rebar secure, Workers use traveling forms to hold the concrete in place. When the concrete cures, the forms slide along the rail system to the next concrete pour. So the road gets built section by section. As you can see, as we move away from Bertha, the roadway becomes more complete. Here, underneath Seneca Street, you get a good sense of what that tunnel will look like. It's amazing, isn't it? Look up top, you see that completed upper roadway deck being supported by those walls and that foundation. What's missing is that lower deck because you can't put the lower deck in right now because materials are moving in and out of the tunnel. After birth is done, the lower roadway will be assembled. We've come up one level we're standing on that upper deck. That big yellow tube that's up in the ceiling, it's bringing fresh air into the tunnel. The conveyor belt is above us, bringing out material from Bertha. Construction of the roadway is a progression. Cane anchors, foundations, walls, and upper deck. Wow, just walked 1.5 miles out. So what we're standing on right now is that upper completed deck, the southbound roadway. 
We're at the south end of the tunnel, about ready to come back up to the surface. Remember, this project is by getting Highway 99 underneath Seattle. We're well underway.